Basic Education Principal Secretary Dr. Belio Kipsang has assured the country that teachers will adequately cover the syllabus within the school calendar. Kipsang said though the, the opening of schools has been delayed by two weeks owing to the heavy downpour that resulted to floods, the ministry has established adequate strategies to make up for the lost time. Schools were supposed to reopen for the second term on Monday, April 30th, but this was postponed twice to May 13th due to flooding across the country. With just about a day until schools reopen for second term, after the initial 30th April date was moved twice to Monday the 13th of May, the Minister of Education is assuring the public that all measures have been put in place to recover the time lost. We have agreed that uh, we shall put in all strategies that are there to recover on the time that we have lost. I know our teachers are good, they are resilient. We lost so much time during COVID, but we were able to recoup and recover on the time. So even these two weeks that we have lost, we shall ensure that we recover it by the time our children are sitting for assessment and examinations at the end of the year. Bellio says the ministry, in collaboration with other government agencies, is rehabilitating damaged facilities at schools ahead of the reopening. We acknowledge that there are still challenges in a few of our schools in terms of the damage that may have occurred, in terms of uh, wash facilities that may have been damaged. But I would want to give the assurance that working together with our members of parliament through CDF, that uh, within the shortest time possible, to make sure that we bring all facilities to the level that is conducive for learning. The principal secretary has also urged school heads to minimize demands as they receive learners back. So many of them may have lost their uniforms because of the problems that were there. And uh, therefore, let's be humane as we receive them to school. Some of them may have, may have lost their learning instructional materials, books, exercise books. Let's be understanding. This comes as education stakeholders in Thika are working round the clock to ready schools that were most affected by floods. Area residents are however expressing safety concerns, especially for landers who have to cross the Oldonyo Sabuk Bridge that was swept away after River Adi burst its banks. <laughs> The most important is to make sure that our children are safe. Tukiona mvua ingine imenyesha zaidi ya ile nomo, so you can't send your children to school. Lakini tukiona mvua imeanza kuenda chini na warimu wa mwapigie simu wambia watoto wako safe, then mi naambia watoto warudi shule. Meanwhile, leaders from the Muslim community are calling on the government to review the directive on reopening of schools in areas that are still receiving heavy rainfall. Shule inafunguliwa jumatatu ineokuja. Lakini bado mvue ikizidi kunyesha pia tuangalie jangahili wakati hii dunia nzima haswa katika njetu ya Kenya. Kila pahali mvue linanyesha. Kwa hivyo iangalie pia ikiwa mvue itazidi itabidi tu icheleweshe pia angalie mpaka hii jangaliondoke. The Ministry of Education has indicated that over 1,600 schools across the country will not reopen as they are still submerged in water. Nancy Okware, Legends Edition.